everyone. Welcome to the Inner City Improv Long Form Improv Jam. We're coming to you slightly later tonight, but we're trying to work on some organizational stuff before we get going. But we have a great show for you tonight. We have three teams that will be doing long form improv for you. Uh, this little bit change of pace, we're going to be doing uh, musical, non musical, and then musical as opposed to our normal non musical, musical, musical. They're, you know what I mean. Uh, but let me here share uh, our slide deck where I find the share button. There it is. Sorry, it has been a few weeks since I have. Oh, I got to turn yours off real quick, Michael. Yep, cool. All right. Like I said, Interstate Improv, Long Form Improv Jam. This is where we are. Tonight, uh, as people came into our room, we assigned them into uh, teams. They're sort of randomly assigned uh, as they come in, and like I said, into both musical and non-musical improv. And the format is just of a montage. Tonight, we're going to be doing 20-minute sets because we only have three teams playing tonight. Uh, but our total jam time will still be about the same. Uh, when you're in the jam, uh, in your sets, it's really easy. Uh, we just use simple sweep edits and tag outs to, to change uh, scenes and that. So if you're not in the scene at that point, but you want to get in, just turn on your camera, shout sweep really loudly and do a sweeping motion. Like, let's all get on screen and do that together. There's everyone. Sweep. 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 And then... You start a new scene uh, with whoever then comes in with you. You can also say tag out a name of either the act, the, the player or the character. Uh, they'll turn the camera off and you come in. Uh, at Before, at about two minute mark, you'll get a, uh, the timekeeper for that set will pop up, show you the time that's remaining in, in your set. And then you'll know that this should be your last scene. And if you're in a musical show uh, or set, you'll know this is gonna be like your time to get into one final song. If you are not in that uh, jam set that's on going right now, please mute your audio and video. Um, just to make it a little bit easier to hear everyone, make sure we can all um, pay attention to the action that's going on. Uh, if you uh, do have some noise or something going on in your background, we may mute you. Please don't take it personally. We're just trying to make sure that the jam runs smoothly. Uh, to make sure that uh, you can see the, the most of the jam at once, uh, it's easy to just click on the little dots at the top of your screen, click non-video participants. That only shows people who have their cameras on at that point. After almost 20 months of Zoom, I'm pretty sure everyone has that setting memorized. Uh, this is what it looks like if you're hiding non-participants. And we're streaming on Facebook. Uh, so if you don't want to be streamed, uh, may want to drop off now before you get in there. But hopefully, if you're here, you're OK with that uh, going onto our page. We do have some sensitive topics. Uh, Anything that's political, COVID-19 related, we deal with that too much in our personal lives. We try to get rid, not to bring it in here. Anything with religion or spirituality, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage or cursing. Uh, and like I said, these are not the banned ones, but these are, you know, just be aware and try not to do those just to make sure we can keep it uh, friendly for everyone. We do have some banned topics, uh, no flashing each other, no jokes about rape or kidnapping, miscarriage or suicide no racism, sexism, or any other isms, mental illness, or anything that makes a person's identity the butt of the joke. This is not an exhaustive list, but again, these are topics we do not want to have in our jam. If uh, you see something during a jam that makes you uncomfortable or you think it's someone's violated our, our jam guidelines or banned topics, you can turn your camera and say, time out, uh, move on to the next scene, that'll move on quickly. Uh, anyone's in, is uh, empowered to do a timeout, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, feel free to reach out to any of the ho uh, the volunteers. Those are most people you'll see in the Zoom window who have co-hosts next to their names, uh, and we can help take care of that for you. But we just want to make this a safe sp space for everyone. Uh, when you're doing the, your improv, make sure you try to have only one person speaking at a time. Uh, people Treat people with respect. Uh, we want to make sure this is a safe space for everyone to feel comfortable playing in. Um, use your actual face. If you have a puppet, that's fine, but make sure it's on screen with you. Uh, manage your playing time. Look out for your teammates. If you see someone is not getting on, maybe pull them onto a, uh, a scene or, or tag them in. And if you're, work, if you're improvising music, don't worry about the lag. Michael Olivier is an amazing MD, and he will make sure that you're supported as, as you need to. Uh, when the timer is called, if you haven't been in, get up there. That's, that's going to be the last scene, and, and have fun. 
stick around the end. At the end, after the end of our jam sets, we're going to have our featured troop play. And then we'll have a group game of everyone before we leave. Then uh, we'll announce who's coming next week, have some networking and light mingling, and, and ask you to spread the word. This week, I am super thrilled. Our uh, feature team for tonight is Formal Bonfire, one of the house teams from my home improv theater, Westside Improv in Wheaton. Woo! 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 Been play in quite a while, and I know a couple of the members of the team have actually left the area. So this is a fun like uh, time for everyone to get back together. And that's it. So, Woo! without further ado. Uh, let me introduce you, since we're starting a musical, our MD for the night, Michael Olivier. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Help us back. There you go. And our host for team one, which I'm not solely not stalling, that I don't know, is going to be Angel. Oh. <laughs> or Michael. It could be oh. Michael. Well, wait, Michael. we're doing musical, then not on the musical, oh. right? I'm confused, mm -hmm. but Angel do it now. So I think we're starting with team two. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, does that sound right, Angel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, we're Michael. Organized. All right, so our first team for the evening is also our first of two musical teams for the evening. As I see your name, go ahead and pop on camera. We have Andy Faye from Manila, the Philippines. Woo! Oliver Spielman from Fremont down there, California. Angel Canez from Sevilla, Spain. Woo, woo, woo. David Hepburn from Miami, Florida. And David! And has already introduced on the keys, Michael Olivier, team one. Woo. Go ahead and give a suggestion. You've got 20 minutes. Thank you, Michael. And I'll be timing. When you see me pop on screen, it means roughly two minutes final scene. Thank you. Uh, so we are team one, and I would like to ask you um, something that makes you happy. Puppies. Puppies. Okay, thank you, puppies. Puppies, come take a puppy. My dog has to be puppies. Oh. Look, how cute. <gasps> take, take her home. I know you want her. It's so, so beautiful. Yeah. There are so many, so many puppies. Just pick one. Can't you pick Just one? one. Okay. Oh, oh, this, oh, this, this, I want this one, this one on, on the middle, which is running, it's running to our arms. He loves you, his name is Pancake. Yeah, oh, it's amazing, Daddy. Thank you so much. Look at his eyes. I love you. He talks. In English. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's a talking dog. Yeah. We got lots of talking dogs here. They're so smart. Yeah. Daddy, look. Never again in my life I will be sad again with this beautiful puppy at home. That dog will make you happy forever. I promise. Forever. I used to be sad. I used to be mean with you, Dad. Uh -oh. But now with his eyes, we are on the sky. With his eyes by our side, you're my only daughter, and I would give you the world, but instead, I'm gonna give you a 
super sweet puppy who I promise will keep you happy for the rest of your life. For the best of my life, I can hear him, he is smiling, he is flying into our arms, it will keep us warm all the life. This child will take care of you. Not the other way around. It will help. It will help us to fight the fear inside and outside. Pancake will protect us. Pancake. I promise. Thank you. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Pancake. Sit. Pancake. Sweet. Sweet. Well, well, well. Looking at the Santa's letters. All kids want puppies nowadays. Yeah, not too many kids want green pancakes. Yeah, not many. Look, this one, he wants Chihuahua. This one, Poodle. This one, Mute. Huh. The list Nobody so wants the mutts. What about the mutts? They need love too just like a green pancake. Yeah, I I bet they need, they need love because M-U-T-T-S, mutts, mm. they also have feelings. And butts. And butts. They have feelings and butts. M-U-T-T-S, mutts. B-U-T-T-S, butts. Mutts. Butts. Mutts and butts. Butts and mutts. Mutts and butts. The butts and the mutts. Mutts are and like butts. butts. Everybody got one, so you check your guts. You know, we should go to the adoption center and get all the dogs there and put it in Santa's sleigh. And we make sure that the bag has holes in it so the dogs can live and breathe. Even yes. though they are deceived into thinking that they don't live. Nobody loves much like we do, but those much will shake their butts. That's true. And we'll also put them on ribbon. A ribbon that will make them feel so beautiful and cute. So when a kid receives it, they will also tell, Oh my god, this is from Santa! Santa sent me a mutt with a butt. But Santa sent me mutts Santa with sent butts. me a mutt with a butt. So all the little kids shake your butts, make your chocolate cookies for Santa's guts, and make sure the milk is not rotten, so that Santa can go ahead and do his job and not get sick and throw up and mess up your yes. the decorations because butts and guts and mutts and things and all this stuff go together like we Woo. want it so bad. Woo. Butts. But they butts. need to be. A good kid, because yes. if a, they don't, not good, they will not get a butt with a mutt. A mutt they get just a, a butt. butt with a butt. A butt with no mutt <laughs> is what you get when you're a bad little kid. You get a mutt with no butt.
butt or a butt with oh. no mutt. You're a bad little kid. You get smut. Oh, that's that's hurtful. Yeah. So they need smut. to be good. Smut, 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 smut. Let's go. Smut. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Hello, elf. Apparently, everybody wants a puppy this Christmas. Yes, yes, yes. Elf number one, here we have a lot of people dreaming about puppies. I can't throw puppies in my sack and go down the chimney and eat all the cookies and have a bowl full of jelly in my belly with puppies. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to transport all these puppies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what? I think we could make an effort. An effort. Because these people are really in love with puppies. But Elfie, I can't do it alone. Hmm. Oh, I guess you are asking my help. Elfie, I'm asking your help! Oh, you I'm so smart, I'm so smart! Yeah, I'm that's starting... why I'm asking your help! Wow, amazing, amazing! I love when you ask my help and I feel smart and then everybody will be laughing with all these puppies! I'll start right now! Also psychic, which I did. Mm. Oh, you know who wants the puppies. Who wants the puppies? You know. Yeah. Puppy lovers. Puppy lovers. It's quite everybody. I've checked the map. They are all around the world. Everywhere, Elfie? Everywhere. What about out of this world? Yeah. Yeah. I see that you are not an elf. You are real Santa Claus. Of course I'm the real Santa Claus. Yeah, I had to work in a mall a couple times to make ends meet, but it's still the real me. The real you. I'm so proud of working with you. Is that, you know what? This year, there will be no people alone. No people on their own thinking about their dreams. Because you and I will deliver them puppies. 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 We've got to give puppies to everybody in the whole wide world. And not only that, there's a guy up on Jupiter and Elon Musk, who knows where he's at? They all want one. <laughs> they all want one. And no matter how far they are, because here we are working for them. But we're also working for the puppies. Oh, so the puppy. Mm. I can just eat them all up. Except that we'd have no more puppies to deliver as gifts if I did that. Yeah, but now I'm here with you, my Santa Claus, and the puppies will be on. Time on people's arms. Gonna put a puppy in every stocking this year. And ho ho ho! ho, 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 ho. Oh, it's time for puppy! And kittens too! Why not? And maybe even a hamster! Across the world 
to deliver them. All those animals for a Merry Christmas. All of them will make the Christmas happy. And Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, and if you don't celebrate anything around you, we'll still give you a puppy. Still a puppy. Thank you, Santa Claus. Sweet. Uh, my name is uh, Pooch, and uh, I'm glad to be here at uh, Pumpy's Anonymous. <laughs> I've been an anonymous puppy lover now, going on uh, 16 years, and I'm uh, puppy free. Uh, Today, the 24th, uh, this close to uh, Christmas, and this is the darkest Christmas ever. You, you are so courageous. You know, I have been a puppy all my life, but I never assumed it. It's hard. I always said that I was a cat. Yeah, yeah um, not... if you were a cat, you'd be in another meeting, but uh, I think I know what you're trying to say there. Uh, we all wish we were something more than what we is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I even, I even not was able to do this. Meow. Oh, meow. oh okay. Meow. Uh, I, uh, this is Puppies Anonymous. You might want to be. Uh, maybe you're at the uh, feline erotica that's down the hall. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know. yeah. I had this identity problem, but now, now I'm ready just to show to the world that I'm a puppy, not a cat. Uh, oh, okay, so you are uh, having an identity crisis, where uh, you were born uh, a puppy, but uh, you are identifying as a cat on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something like this. Uh, but now I see that to be a puppy, it's an honor. It's, I'm proud of it. I mean, you gotta crunch the numbers. Uh, here where we live in, uh, you know, this whole dunk town of uh, Furville is, uh, people love puppies. Uh, it's like a 10 to one. So uh, you're gonna have a much easier road if you decide to go with the puppy. But I mean, be true to yourself. If uh, your inner meow is meow, and then, you know, be the cat's pajamas. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for your understanding. Because here we support each other and it's amazing. And now, now I'm, I'm ready to start. Well, wow, do that again. I mean, that's, uh, that's amazing. Uh, when you do that, for some reason, it makes me feel like a fish. Maybe I got an inner fish on the inside. Maybe I'm a, I don't know, uh, some type of uh, swordfish, uh, beta goldfish, uh, I don't know, uh, tilapia. So, so, so let it be, let it be. You know, sometimes I, I dream about birds. And I really, for a moment, I believe I'm a bird. Boys? You're dreaming of being a boy, like a boy in the sky. Uh, maybe a boy and the, then a bird and then the cat? Well, you know what? I think whatever we are, we're birds of a feather. You and I together. Birds oh. of a feather. You and I together. No matter what the world throws at us, we can weather. Birds of a feather, you and I together. Rain or shine, you and me will survive any weather. You and me will survive any weather, yes. even we are. If we are a fish, a cat, or a, a bird boy. And something else, you and I together. Birds of a feather. Hey, look at these other guys coming in here. Whether you're just a happy dad, hey happy dad, or whether you're just a butt mutt poop, 
Everybody, there's room for all of us here because uh, we just have to be birds of a feather. Birds of a feather. Birds of a feather. Birds of a feather. Mm. Birds of a feather. Don't worry if you feel different. If you feel a double, third, fourth personality, we are together. Never mind the weather. We're all together. together Come on. Butts and mutts, birds and fish. The fish is flying in the sky. The birds are swimming underneath. 20,000 leagues under the sea. But as long as you're with me, we can be happy. Birds of a feather together, together, together. Together. Together, together, together. 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 Birds of a feather together. MD Michael Olivier. Woo! Woo! All right. So, you know, have you ever thought to yourself, you know, what I want to do is take a piece of this inner city jam home with me, like on a t shirt or on a mug? And if anyone who has one of these things, you can pop up because we have an Etsy store. Um, I will not share the link just so I don't have to share, don't have to steal Michael's music again. Um, but if you search on uh, uh, Etsy.com slash inner city improv, I believe you can get any of these fine merchandise. You cannot get the masks, although they are awesome as well. Uh, Cause those were uh, done separately, but uh, take home a piece of this jam if you'd like, and know that every item you purchase takes at least like two or three cents from Faustino because Etsy is weird. But uh, without further ado, uh, I'll introduce uh, Angel, who will introduce our second team for the night. Oh, yes, that's true, Brian. So it's time to know our second team, which is the only uh, non-musical team of the evening. So they are just coming right now. And so on the... Second team, we will have Deborah Jig from Bayfield. Welcome! Woo! Yeah! Woo! And also Kevin Wilcox from New York, New York. Woo! 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 Yeah! Kevin, we will have Linda Fisher from Queens, New York. Yeah! Woo! 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 yeah! Linda! We will have Casey Effort from Tucson, Arizona. Welcome, Woo! Casey! Yeah, we will have Michael Strokers from San Bruno, California. Michael, Michael, Michael. Ooh, and also Joshua Preven from Los Angeles, California. Yeah, good luck, team two. Hi, we're team two. What else comes in twos? <laughs> eyes. Ooh, eyes. Ooh, I heard pie. Really? That's great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, pie. Did you not see my name on that yogurt? I like yogurt. Well, everyone likes yogurt. That's not the point, Bob. Every day I've brought a soda in and I've put it in the office fridge you could have taken it and if you haven't that's not my problem but i will take your yogurt well you know i'm i'm all part of the team and everything and if i'd known mm -hmm. that you like blueberry i would have just brought two you could have asked i love blueberry and i love that you buy the fruit on the bottom well 
just remember in the future, mm -hmm. I'm part of this team as well. Okay. Okay. Noted. Oh, you know what? I can make it up to you. Well, I'm listening. I just so happen to have two tickets for a tour at a blueberry farm. All yours, there you are. Oh my God, two tickets though. You know, I don't think I can think of anybody to go with at the moment. Do you like, and you like blueberry yogurt just- Oh, that works out, doesn't it? So besides blueberry picking, there's blueberry wine. Blueberry wine. There's, There's blueberry. delicious blueberry desserts after a luxurious dinner. Blueberry tarts. Blueberry tarts. Nice dessert. Okay, so um, after Friday, after you've turned in the Jenkins report, let's hey. do it. I'm a blueberry. <laughs> Can you hear me? I yes. think I can. Well, yeah. I've heard oh. everything you guys are saying. And I'm a strawberry. I didn't think they could hear you. <laughs> yeah. So what's so what's the deal, man? With me? With both of you. I mean, I heard everything you said. We love yeah, blueberries. He loves yogurt. He said so. And if I picked up the oh, subtext, wow. if I picked up the subtext correctly, we're about to go on a date. Yeah. He's asking her on a date. We're kind of interrupting her right now. We're interrupting him. It's actually the other way. Okay. Yeah. Look. We're gonna go out. Oh, oh, sorry. We're supposed to be quiet. Whoa. Oh my God. What? Sorry about that. Hey, I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. Uh, don't- Hello, I'm here from HR. Um, I heard about the whole thing about you two going on the uh, blueberry picking date. It was um, to make while amends. We here, while we here at this company are perfectly okay with coworkers dating each other, we do have a strict no berry policy. <laughs> now, you is that are me? not allowed. You are not allowed to have blueberry yogurt. In the office, you are not allowed to have straw, any berry yogurt, any berry anything, any berry flavored anything. Um, we ask that you do not discuss visiting blueberry farms while in the office. I have a question. If I happen to consume some blueberries at home, will I be tested for blueberry when I get into the office? <laughs> Just that is something that management is still discussing. It. It's really down to whether or not they want to spend the money on it. Does, does this mean that I'm going to have to go through berry education again? Well, berry not, the not necessarily because, again, management doesn't really want to spend the money. We just ask that you not bring berries into the office or berry discussion. Okay. Thank or clothing you. that's in a color that ends in berry. It was a gift from my mom. Tag out Deborah and uh, Michael. Hey, I want to commend you. Uh, sorry, tag out Deborah. I want to commend you on uh, your management, Kevin. You, uh, this no berry policy has boosted our profit margin by remarkable, remarkable amounts. So. Well, keep it up. I, mean, I, I, I follow a very strict, you know, letter of the policy rule, you know, here in HR. You know, we have the rule against anything berry. Um, you know, we do have the rule against uh, lurking anywhere between th three and three and a half feet behind a person. You know. I mean, that's why we have the lines behind every chair. Oh, you know, we have a rule moving. against coming into the office while muted. There's a crisis. That's... We have a crisis. 
There's a protest outside. They're demanding, demanding that we allow berries in the office. Berries, berries, bushels into the building. What should I do? Well, I, just, uh, I can't keep well, them out. Stay out, stay out. Well, this is why we have the policy that our you know, security staff at the front of the office building all have maces. Not You're like the spray, but like, the, you know, the long stick with the huge spike ball at the end. But they're in on they, it. Uh, they were shills. The security guards, they're letting them in. They're bury addicts. I'm going hey, to be taking uh, my I'm private here helicopter at the front off desk, the roof. And I got to tell you, it's not so out there. Oh, they're, they're... yeah, nuts are definitely not allowed in the office at all. Nuts, 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 if, if you're going to tell me that trail mix is now the thing I got to watch for, it, I'm going to need a raise, man. It's crazy out there. Technically, uh, trail mix as peanuts, as long as it doesn't have any true nuts, we're okay. Peanuts are actually legumes, so they're all right. But like almonds or walnuts or anything, yeah. As long as it's like, like peanuts, granola, M&Ms, those are okay. Sweet. Skittles are out because they're berry. Sweet. Yes, I just had this amazing eye surgery. Uh huh. And how does it look? Can you see that? Wait, your left eye looks really good. It's your right eye that I'm worried about. Your left eye's bigger. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. You can get one bigger. That's so cool. So yeah, you guys should do done. it. What's that? When are you getting the other one done? No, 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 no. I don't want to get both. I want oh. one that's bigger than the other. Oh, oh it's left eye. Intentional yeah. asymmetry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Intentional asymmetry. You so now you really look unique beyond looking a normal unique. You look more unique. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it, it kind of makes you look more interested in a sophisticated sort of way. Like, like you don't need a monocle, but it, it gives the idea of a monocle. Yeah, like a You're not just saying that because I'm your boss. No, yeah. I, I didn't even think about that until now. Oh good. Good. You know what I'm gonna do? I, I'm gonna get a, a shoulder implant on the left side. Oh. So I have a kind of a bigger left shoulder with my big left eye. What do you guys think? Tag out Joshua and Michael. So you've come to me to yes. get your left eye enlarged. Yes. yes. I, I wanted I wanted a, a double D enlargement on my eye, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Oh, so then we're going work. to need the extra big clamp. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now oh, just okay. lean back and oh. open your eyes wide. Oh, okay. All right. Now let me put in the clamp. Yes. Okay. Wow. Oh, yes. Yes. Up to 10 minutes later. <laughs> wow. That now was... look in the mirror. How do you that think was... you look? That's so fast. And you... I look so unique now. It's almost like a. You know that, that go, go to sleep for ten minutes and wake up. Boom! I look like look amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Yes, yeah, thank you. Tell all your friends that you, you know, you went to Doctor Vico. Yes. Doctor Vico. You know, I wanted to tell you. Um. Oh, you left so fast. Wow. Oh, I'm back. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you, and um, <laughs> I, I can't wait to come back for my 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 left shoulder surgery. Um. Oh yeah. Looking forward yes. to it. The shoulder surgeries are all done by my brother. He's the shoulder guy. Yes, I. Just I, tell you, I too, your your wife is very lucky. Oh, I'm not married. Very lucky. Oh, no. you're not. Oh, I I, I thought no. you were on. I'm so sorry. Oh no 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 that no that that's just an unfortunate fold in my finger. Oh well then then maybe you're you're available for berry picking on Friday. There's a festival at the berry picking patch. Oh, I haven't been berry picking since, well, the, the last time I was almost married. Oh, that's so sweet. I have, I actually have two free tickets. Um, 
It was a giveaway. It's a, it's Safeway. Yeah. Oh, you know, what is it? Cut to the scene of him almost married, picking berries. Ah, yes, oh. yes, my picking berries with my fiance. What could be you better? You look like a great couple. Uh, oh, make yes. yourselves comfortable. There's, uh, yes, we got all kind of every kind of berry you could could worry about. I'm going to take a nap in the corner. Uh, but right. I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. Ooh. It's hot. I know it's hot, dear. But you, you know, it worry. might. There's a tornado coming. It doesn't usually touch down, but don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll all be very safe out here in the field. So just, oh. just hunker down if you if you hear any any big wind. We will do. Yes, we'll hunker down from the tornado and we'll hug and. Oh, is that a big yellow berry up there? No, wait, that's a beehive. I'm going to grab I'm it allergic. anyway. What? I think I'm allergic to bees and tornadoes make the bees swarm. I hate this. Oh. Um. Okay, I was going to hand this to you, but yeah, probably not now. Um. Uh, uh, cut, cut back. Yeah. Cut back. Yeah. So it turned out it wasn't the bees or the tornado that got her. It was really, yeah. It it she had a tainted blueberry. Wow! You don't hear a story Kevin. like that very often. Wow! No. Oh, tag out, Kevin. Oh, Cassie. Uh -huh. Um, I heard that you got some eye surgery. Can you tell oh. me a little bit about it? Well, sure, I got this double D on my left eye. It's can't you see it looks much bigger now? <laughs> Great. Did you go to Dr. Vico by any chance? Dr. Yes. Vico? I, and, I just, and I'm going out with him on Friday night. We're gonna go berry picking because I'm no longer actually his patient now. So well, I just read an article about him uh, in Forbes, and he's under investigation. We're implanting oh, well, cameras in people's eyes. Well, He's look, a spy. Did they did they have a picture of him in his, in his blue suit? Yes. Because he looks really marries. amazing in that suit. I just wanted to say I just I may have to go look that one up. But have you been got, have you gotten a subpoena or anything yet? Because I heard no. they're calling people to a grand jury to investigate oh. his tactics. Well, I can't imagine he'd be putting cameras in everybody's eyes. Who would I do something know. like that? Well, you never know. You never know, dear. Check um, out Cassie. So, you seem to have stumbled on our little apparition. <clears throat> you can keep me quiet if the price is right. I think the price will be zero. <laughs> <laughs> I know things. I know things and I can talk. I'm not one who will stay quiet, but I can be bought. I think maybe you're alluding to two double Ds? I would not have that on me. No, sir, because I know what you're really doing. Dr. Vico is a very well-known, well-respected eyeball surgeon. Exactly. And when he pulls that switch, all those eyeballs will be looking at one thing, him. And they'll be getting their instructions to take over the world. This is just an ugly, ugly rumor spread by anti plastic surgery mob. I've seen the evidence and it's not looking good. Looking good, employee. I see what you did there. <laughs> tag, out, tag out both and bring back Cassie. Oh. Yes. And that's how I took over the world. Such an incredible story for a 
Fairy picking bait. Man, this is yes. so much fun, honey. Oh, I mean, oh, I'm so sorry. I called you honey so, so quickly. You're, it's like I've been yes. you forever. I'm just like. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. The, the honey harvesting date can be like next week. Oh, ooh, I like I like how you're just you're just being very forward and, and, and announcing that we're going to have another date. I love that. Yeah. Would you like, would yes. you like some strawberries that I've picked here? Because uh, they're, they're lovely. Oh, sure. I'll take <laughs> one. Hmm. Master, oh, I love how you uh, Mr. Them. Kevin, I uh, we're getting some pushback. You've taken over the world, but we're getting some pushback from the United States. They're massing forces. They have nuclear weapons. So what do we do? They're the United States. What we simply do is we finance, you know, some, I don't know. They're the United States, you oh, know, I'll go throw them. money at the, basically, they're the United States throw money at the problem. I'm a doctor. What do I know about politics? I love, well, how, you, I'm a, I love how you command everybody as they come and ask you questions. I think it's so amazing. It is. Oh, so great. Sleep. Bring back uh, Joshua the blueberry. <laughs> so you saw them consume blueberry yogurt and that didn't scare you at all? <laughs> you know, welcome to my world, you know? You were just sitting there in one of those little single-use plastic yeah. trays, right next to the yogurt. No, I was, the thing is, I don't know. I've been talking to my therapist. I don't know if I want to be eaten or not be eaten, you know? I never thought about it as a choice. Well, I mean, Whoa. as a fruit, you know, you want to be eaten so you can spread the seed, right? But right, I don't, right. you know, but it's scary. It is scary. What with the chewing and stomach acid and digestion and... Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I apologize. I don't know your name. Are you a kiwi? A slice of kiwi? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a kiwi, but thank you for asking your identify. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just opening the fridge and getting a banana. Because, you know, I like my bananas in the fridge. Hello? They do last longer that way. <laughs> do they? Bananas? Well, they, they, they'll go brown quicker, but the inside is... A fresher longer. Listen, we gotta get out of here. So you don't wanna be smoothie oh. time. Oh my god. It's everything. Oh grab all the fruit, you can. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Ooh. I love kiwi. And blueberries. Tickled. Well I guess this is it. I guess this is it. Wow, wow, well, wow, work wow. day's over, so time to take all of the fruit that did get eaten and just toss it in the trash. Trash? No, no. You don't understand. We're part of a smoothie. Yeah. There must be misunderstanding. We, we got to be blended and consumed. I got we're, Kevin. I got Kevin. Don't throw us out. Welcome to the trash. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm starting to go bad. Oh, yes, Thank this you. is a that, that old banana peel he was just, just tossed in here earlier. I was waiting for you guys. I saw you on the counter. <laughs> I'm a kiwi, so you can't tell, but I'm turning brown. And I'm really tender right about here. I'm a little yeah. rat, and I love when like really bad fruit comes in here. Oh, and I have some other little creatures living in here too with me. You can spread our seeds. Well, I guess as soon as I poop them out, yeah, of course. I can spread them, yes. You don't need to describe the process. We know it. We went through fruit school. You know, to be honest with you, I kind of like it. I'm getting loose. I don't like having to hold myself all taut. I'm just kind of blobbing out. You are Spring full break, of you know insight I mean? there, Blueberry. Tag out uh, both. Tag out everyone and bring in uh, somebody else. And so that's how uh, this alleyway became a kiwi farm. You know, I think this whole sustainable agriculture out of small spaces, that trend is really going to take off. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, mean, I think kiwi is just a little bit too much of a, I don't know, a trendy fruit. Well, I mean, it, it's been selling well. And honestly, 
um, you know, since I've been using trained rats to basically turn this entire city into a, a farm, you know, I mean, I sometimes just have to settle for what they got into. Like, do you eat the outside or not? Are you contributing to increased waste or uh, Kiwis? I don't understand them. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. So you're going to have to leave this uh, little alleyway. Uh, it's been uh, declared under eminent domain. We're going to be building some condos here for uh, um, affordable housing as well as luxury housing. Um, you don't own this property. Your Kiwis are going to have to go. Tag, tag everybody out and bring back rats. And people can come back in as rats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the bit. We're going to take over the world. We're going to have a new condo to live in too, big rat. <laughs> yes. A condo yes. with an elevator. Yes, we're going to take over every, and then we're going to get all the food, all the fruit, all the pizza, all the tacos, all of everything. Not just the spoils, the fresh stuff. Yeah. Bring back the plague. Let's bring back the plague. I can't wait to poop everywhere in this brand new building. It's really making me very excited. <laughs> I've been doing it while we've been talking. Ah. Oh, oh, no, it's the Pied Piper. Piper. It's the Pied Piper. <laughs> it's time to <laughs> Woo! Yes, yeah. me too. Slash Woo! one, slash three. <laughs> Big old thing to everyone except our confusion back behind the scenes. Hey! Woo! 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 So that was team two, our non-musical team for the night. Before we get into our third team, I'm going to have to unfortunately steal Michael's music again so I can share the screen real quick. Um, sorry there. But I just want to go over what we have coming up, what's on the menu. So every week as you are in right now is our inner city long form improv jam. Every Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, 9 Eastern, and then middle of the night for Poor Angel in Spain. Um, tonight, as I said, Formal Bonfire will be our, will be our featured uh, headliner team. But in the next couple of weeks, we have... Uh, Portman 2 uh, will be here next week, which uh, Rick Horner and Jay Hart Ooh! will be great uh, from Austin, Texas and London, UK. Uh, it's Chris and Denny and Kate Bell. I believe we had to reschedule them from a little bit earlier, but I'm looking forward to uh, seeing them. Like I said before, if you are interested in some uh, inner city merch, we have our Etsy shop, uh, just etsy.com slash shop slash inner city improv. And we're also always looking for improv teams to be our headliners, video sketches, although we haven't really been doing sketches lately, uh, musical directors and, and jammers in general. So please spread the word, let people know that we're here and uh, we will keep doing this as long as people keep showing up. We also, in addition to our main Facebook page, have a community that's uh, Inner City Improv Hub or you'll say Inner City Improv Community now, it was like the name, uh, but that's our, our private group. Well, it's a public group, but it's, it's private for us. That's where we can post about things that are going on and what people are doing. So if you're interested, please join that community. And uh, please take care of tonight's musical director, Michael Olivier from Nevada City, US. Uh, if you want to skim a little tip, uh, we will put his Venmo information in the chat. Woo! Uh, Inner City Improv, and we'll get that to you. And that is it for right now. So to introduce our, our last team, uh, oh no, no one has signed up to do that one. So I will introduce our last team. Woo! Our, our last team, for, our last jam team for the night is our second musical team. Which will feature Tori Shine from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Woo! from Santa Cruz, California. Don Robertson from Corpus Christi, Texas. And Brian Sebi from Wheat. Um, and we will be our final musical team. Uh, and yes, Angel will be timing us. Uh, but yes, to get us started, I guess we just need a suggestion. Uh, a fidget spinner. A fidget spinner, thank you. Thank you. 
You okay? Why, why would you say that? Why would you say that I'm not looking okay? I, I'm absolutely fine, obviously. <sighs> Megan, we're best friends. You can't lie to me. What's going on? Girl, talk to me. You know what we were talking about the other night? Yes. Oh, my God. About Joey. It ended up happening. <gasps> really? Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. I would never judge you. I'm your best friend. I would never judge you. Oh, oh. That must have been intense, huh? Uh, very, very. Um... What exactly happened? So, we went out, right? Yeah. Joey took me to the restaurant, like he said he would. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at most. And then Joey took me out to the movies. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we made out. Ooh. That's we fun. Made out, made out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. And it was just like, I was going nuts because I wanted to tell somebody, but I, you know, I told myself, you don't kiss and tell, but here I am kissing and telling. It's me. It's Allison. You're Biffle. It's okay. I'm not judging. I think that's pretty awesome. You deserve it. Allison. And then Joey said he didn't want to see me again. What? <clears throat> I'm sorry. How did... How that doesn't go there. What the? Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, he was like, oh you know, this was fun. Um, I, I guess I'll see you around. Maybe, you know, wow. you know, he hasn't done the follow up call, follow up text, nothing, nothing. I mean, like, I checked his Insta, he's just going on like day, like everything's going on. Wow. Like, nothing different. Wow. Wow. What a piece of work, huh? Yeah. God, I'm so sorry, hon. You don't deserve that. I thought Joey might be the one. I know it was only one date, but when I saw him, it was just like looking at the sun. I just don't know what to do. It's true. I'll have to live without him. I think it's really important that you take care of yourself this time. You're going through a rough moment. That guy isn't even in his prime. You've got to take care of your heart and your soul and yourself. That's where I come in. Girl, let's have a girl's night out. Forget those guys. We'll get our hair trimmed. We'll do our nails. We'll get some shampoo and do a clay mask and maybe talk to some more cute boys about that guy he's just a sucky guy i know you can do better than that i can do better than that i can do better, better than, than that. that i can do better, better than, than that. that true it's true it's true let's go out get our hair done that's what I'm talking about. Do our makeup, get some new clothes. Yes. They won't know what hit us at the bar. Nope. This is your moment. This is your moment.
Joey. Yeah. So I heard you ghosted my little sister. Dude, Roger, like, of course you got a ghost on the first date because that's how you make him want him more. And my role, my whole role in life is to look out for my little sister. And, and you kiss her at the movies and you run. Yeah. I thought you were my best friend, man. Well, I figured you would have warned her about me. I should have warned her about you. I, I just, I don't know, man. I, I freaked out a little bit, okay? Because, like, I, I looked at her eyes and I'm like, whoa, she's got Roger's eyes. And, like, she does look it, a lot like me. <laughs> But it's just like, you and I, man, we're so close, and I don't want this to get between us. Having a best friend who's a brat, it makes it really hard for me to be a good brother. You're my best friend. I share a jerk. I love my sister and my mother. I should leave you behind. You should leave me behind because I may be your friend, but I'm real bad. You're you bad. Know. You're bad. You know how I am, and I'm just always such a cat. You make me so mad. I just didn't want to make your sister sad. So I ended it before I could disappoint her. Don't out for my sister. Your sister. You leave me with my You'll be fine. And she uh, can't take it. But I don't know. But I can take it. I just. I never knew you were so sentimental. I, I misjudged you, man. I, I also just. I didn't feel like I could make out with you. And you look too much like her. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we we look similar, but she I mean she she's I know but I, I'm sorry, dude. I'll do better. I have no problem when I make out with your sister. I've I know. And it makes me uncomfortable. Sweep. And I wish I had a fidget spinner right now. Ooh. Doesn't work. Hey. You seem really, really antsy. What? You seem really, really antsy. Dude, I'm fine. What are you talking about? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking around at everybody else in this meditation class and everyone else is just being really chill, but you're like, you're rattling around at it. It's making me a little on edge. Oh. Fidget meditation. So you're not supposed to constantly like smack it up and down you're just supposed to rub it very elegantly yeah just like hold it and, and be at peace wow you're you're doing really good you really think so yeah you look like you're having a moment you, you seem like you're really just transcending into a place of peacefulness and relaxation. I've never seen you this calm before. Uh, 
I'm flying high with my emotions in the sky. Got my stapler in my hand, trying to feel good when I can. This class wasn't cheap, I should stay. But I feel like running away. Meditation's hard. Meditation's hard. I can't sit still for more than an hour. I feel like I really need some power. The stapler ain't just doing it for me. I gotta run around, dude. Can't you see? Meditation is hard. Meditation is hard. It's really hard. Meditation is hard. First day I bring you to class. We're so uptight. Everybody stared at you. Is that your meditation object? Yes. Oh! Dude! Oh my goodness, we were meant to be. Look, this is my backup meditation object. Oh my god! Meditation is easy with you. Girl, I love you. Sweep. Just saying it's easy yeah yeah that's what anyone who's been doing this for a while says look it's accounting is just you make the numbers on one side be the same as numbers on the other side i mean there's lots of different complicated formulas you can use but in the end that's what it is Teacher, okay. I have a question. Yes, please. Um, is, is the letter Z a number? Good one. Good and question. You see, you could be using Z as a variable. In one case, it could be any number of numbers. Also, if you're using some really high base math, like it's mm -hmm. probably a number. But that would be like base 27 or 26. 27, I think. Oh, my we God. That. oh I shouldn't have majored in theater. That's okay. I don't know what he's talking about. You don't use okay. base 27 math. You're fine. So now letters are numbers. Numbers are still numbers. Mm -hmm. And there's more numbers than 10. Yes. Wait, there's more numbers than 10? He said base 27. I think think that that's what that meant i remember that sort of kind of oh shoot. we haven't even gotten into orders of infinity yet oh what does that even mean though there oh are God. different infinities of different sizes but shoot. infinity is forever how can it be a different because man I, i'm gonna blow your mind you got the infinities of whole numbers like from negative infinity to positive infinity but like whole numbers but then you got like real numbers. We got all the numbers and there's an infinite number of numbers between the numbers. So those numbers are fake. No, those just numbers are bigger. It's a bigger infinity. I'm so this is why math out. is awesome because you can blow your mind. Not helping, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
I get it. This is this is intro to accounting, um, but I think you're going to have to. Oh, that's really, you're going to have to really simplify how you explain it because I don't even know what a number is. It's okay. That was actually advanced accounting, but I'm just trying to Ooh. tell you that math is awesome. You take your numbers, and your numbers are also letters, but your letters can be numbers as well. You just make the numbers on one side be the numbers on the other. And if those two numbers are the same, you've balanced your books. Math is awesome. Who needs drugs when you've got math? You got math. I think you're gonna make me cry. This isn't something I can simply just slide by. I don't know why I even try. Math is letters and letters are numbers and infinity isn't infinite. Oh, I'm sorry to have taken you to the limit, but this is integral to your understanding. Do you see? If you take the map and you make it even, you'll understand the world and you can make it yours. Cause math is awesome. Math is awesome. So are letters numbers? Beep. <sighs> Allison. Hey. Hi, how are you? How are you, Roger? I'm good. I'm good. I, you know, I've been all right. I had kind of a falling out with Joey. And I, oh, 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 Joey. Yeah. I heard a rumor. I wanted to ask you. Sure. I heard you went to 27th base with my sister. And me she was talking about base 27 and she seemed really upset and no dude 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 that was joey who ghosted her that was your best friend no that, I, I thought it was a, it seemed like it was a pattern like like multiple people were doing the same thing like it, i mean i don't i don't know if more people were doing it but no, she, dude, she came to me crying. It was horrible. Okay, well, she she said it was you, but maybe my, I must have missed. She her. She, she said it was me. <clears throat> it was me. I'm sorry, Raj. I'm sorry. Joey, what the hell? Look, you're my little sister, Allison, and I just you and and Roger have been together now, and I just I didn't want to do the same with his little sister. And y'all, we, we should just, we should stop all of this. What the hell is he doing here? Just, just join a oh, math God. club. Hey, hey there. Things hey. just got weird, y'all. Hey, Becca. What's up? What's up, girl? I miss the days when we just did our math. One plus one equal two. Two plus two equal four. Life was predictable. Yeah. And then it got into all these little integers and fractions, and it'll never happen again. This is the end. I'm done. Nothing else will divide us again. We'll multiply. We'll add it up. I'm sorry that I subtracted from your happiness. I just didn't want to hurt you in the end. Joey, you have to make sure you stop 
dividing. Increase the love, apologize to her, keep multiplying. She's been crying all day and all night too. Get it together, man, for me and you. Because you gotta step up, you gotta step up and be squared. You gotta step up like a number. You gotta step up and be square. Step up. Step up and be square. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give it up for Team 3. Hey, we have been three, Team 3. Woo! Wow, that was more math jokes than I've gotten to do in a while. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, oh, I should put in the chat. If uh, anyone would like to uh, send Michael a little bit of love, uh, you can send him in the Venmo, which I will put in the chat in just a second here as soon as I'm not typing. Um, but before we get to our headliners for the night, uh, now is the time for you, where if, if there's something that you want to promote that's going on in your life, any any shows that you're doing, anything coming up for any of the people who are here, please come up on, on screen and uh, promote yourself. Or don't. Hey, Angel, you have something? Ken, hello, Brian. So uh, I'm part of an um, online team called Improfessionals. And uh, we have a little show every Monday at 7, at 7 Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, until half past 7. So if someone would like to watch, it's on the Facebook page Socially Decent Improve every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, yes, thank you. Thank you. I guess I'll promote uh, my our our local theater, West End Improv, where our headliner team is also from tonight. Uh, we're finally reopening in person, so if you haven't been in the Chicago suburbs, come on out to Wheaton uh, or look online for when our shows are. It's going to be Fridays and Saturday nights, eight uh, central. But um, be good to to see people who who in person because I got to see a couple other theaters this weekend that have opened up in Chicago, and it was fun to see folks in person. And I am stalling slightly while we're waiting for our headliners to come back into the main room here. But Dawn, what's up with you? <laughs> well, we have new additions to the audio dramas that I've been working on. Uh, Transcontinental Terror is the entire month of October. My voice is featured on a, um, on a, a, a production called The Second helping it's an original written by pete lutz who is also our director for narada radio company i will leave the link i don't think the second helping has been released yet but it is going to be released this month in october and there's going to be plenty more also part of their transcontinental terror series excellent i will be looking for that yeah please uh for these different things please post them in our group and, and some people can find that and unless anyone else wants to pop up going once going twice uh tonight our headliner team as i said is one of the house teams at my home theater west side improv uh so please welcome to the stage formal bonfire hey everybody thank you so much for having us Sabi, thanks for the introduction we are formal bonfire and we are coming to you in some ways from west side improv which is our home theater in wheaton illinois though some of us have relocated across the country so you might be saying to yourself sure formal bonfire formed four years ago what a what a mar marvelous road it's been what a miraculous trajectory we've had show after show is it coming to an end the answer no it's not so 
Uh, our team, Formal Bonfire, will be kind of regrouping, coming back to the West Side stage. And we'll be excited to see what uh, the second chapter kind of looks like for the new cast. Myself and Deb have uh, relocated outside of the state. So we're sad to move on, but we're excited to perform for you guys tonight. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get started with our set. Now, uh, before we can, we need some help from you guys into the chat. So if you are a chat-friendly person or have access or someone you love has access to a keyboard, head on to those QWERTY keys because we are going to get started by asking you for a thing. Uh, intellectuals will refer to this as a noun. This is often a person, place, or thing. And we're also going to be asking, once we get that, uh, for some other things. But we're going to get started by taking a look-see, make sure we get a couple options here. Excellent. All right. Next up, can we get an I N? G word. Now, again, intellectual is calling these nowadays verbs. Uh, a lot of times there's actions associated with them, uh, some movement perhaps, or some type of transponding, transgressing thing uh, going on. Lastly, we will in fact ask for a location. Now, granted, a location was a noun if you were paying attention to the <laughs> framework of the first <laughs> request we had, but we are specifically at this juncture asking for a location. So let's take a look, see, see what we got here. Oh boy, you guys are lighting it up. This is terrific. All right, uh, we got birdhouse, car engine, mason jar. This is floating. All right, this is oh, terrific. Man. Well, um, we got we got a lot of good options. So thank you to to all the uh, letters to the editors we got here. Uh, we're gonna go with. <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna make uh, the title of this evening's performance. We will be presenting a documentary. To you guys this evening that is the the form we'll be presenting to you it's a documentary no one's ever seen before and frankly we'll never see again unless they click this facebook ad uh so we are excited to present to you guys <clears throat> let's see the blinking car horn in the ballpark formal bonfire presents the blinking car horn in the ballpark oh. I was just the assistant manager for the the, the Yankees over there, and one one night I was working on my charts, spraying out the field. And I walk out in the grass, and there she was, 1957 Chevy with her headlights on, red car, red truck. So. You know, as all millennials do, I grabbed myself a cell phone and I said, ah, right here, this is here, this is a documentary. And this is what I saw that night. I, I mean, I think it's just, uh, it's probably just teenagers. And so um, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go back in the house. Well, it was a funny noise. I don't, it wasn't a scary noise. It was a funny noise. Uh, I, 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 were you scared? Are you scared now? Are, are you scared? No, I'm not scared. It was a funny noise. It sounded like, I don't know, like something straight out of out of space or the 50s or something. I don't know. Out of space? Well, I mean, how would you know? Have you been to outer space? You, you've never been to uh, outer space, Judith. You're making this stuff up. I'm You're not taking you. me seriously. Again, I'm telling you, something weird is going on. Uh, there, was, there, there was kids out there. There's lots of kids. I, I was yelling, get off my lawn. Didn't you hear? Well, that's no different than any day. That's wow. nothing unusual. I'm telling you, it sounded like, it sounded like a 57 Chevy from when we was dating. Oh yeah, that was a good car. <laughs> bro, bro, I mean, you did it. You did it good. <laughs> I really, I really buckled them up, didn't I? <laughs> oh, you did. You buckled them up, man. You are the buckler. I always think to myself, can he, can he do it? You know, can he really do it? And you did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> yeah, I convinced. I convinced the whole baseball team that I, they needed someone to buckle their belts for them. <laughs> I did that. 
you're, a, you're my bro with the belt buckler. I love it. Love you, bro, because you buckle them belts. You just, you just, you, yeah, I had a dream, you know, bro. I had a dream of someday I could be in a clubhouse and I could, I could really, you know, put, put those loops through, you know. That's what I, my dream was, bro. And you were there for me the whole time, the whole time. Yeah. I was I was there when things were not looking so good. We've come oh. a long, long way. Oh no. Long way. That was there was one time the belt, the belt when I was buckling it, it came on down a little, it slapped me in the face. I still have the mark. Oh gosh. Gosh, Chuck, you know, Chuck, when I was thinking, I thought to myself, maybe this is too dangerous for him, you know? You're my bro and I want Chuck to be around as long as I'm around him. Maybe maybe belt bucking's a little too dangerous for Chuck, but you prove me wrong. You prove uh, me wrong. Oh, uh, buckling, buckling is a dangerous game. I know, I know, bro, but I want to do it for you. Okay, we gotta provide. We're we're gonna be in the ball field, bro. We're gonna we're gonna be in the buckling business. We're gonna be, but the buckling bros. We need to be the buckling bros. That's what we're gonna change the the, the LLC to. Yeah. yeah. Chuck Bros LLC. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, I'm um. I'm looking for UFOs. You do? Yes. Have you seen any out here? There was. I. Yeah, I totally yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. When did you yeah. see it? Because I swore I saw one too. There was there was lights and and, and there was an eerie sound. Come on. Come on, that is so cliche. That's oh, oh. not what they sound like. <gasps> okay. That's what we heard. okay. Definitely, definitely, that's what I heard. And I, I swear to God, I swear to God, that's what it was. It was U F O, aliens, aka U. aliens. F O. D C C, I swear to God. F O. They're sent, that's their signal. That's, that's their signal. Aliens. Yeah. It has to be. Did you hey, did you hear that? I, I didn't hear that. Did when they that? come, and they will come, they aren't going to look like everything you've seen in the movies. They aren't gonna sound like it. They're not gonna spell their names out for you. Duh. <laughs> when they come, it's gonna totally blow your mind. My, my, my mind is blown. My mind is blown. They're blowing minds. I mean, I, I heard they some of them like probe your brain. Nobody's probing anybody. All right. That's again, it's so cliche. When they come, they are just going to assume the shape of your neighbors. I, uh, yeah, I got belt, got into the buckling business years ago, years ago. You know, my brother and I, we formed an LLC and, uh, you know, it was simple, simple back then. We, we just had a couple of, you know, buckling ready guys and gave it a shot. And well, look where we are today. I mean, belt buckler bros international shoot. You know, I, I, I wish I could be there for every one of you watching this and, and all of our locations. But I just want to tell you on behalf of the company, uh, Chuck and myself, we wish you the best. Uh, we hope for another year of, in, of increased growth. You know, the amount of buckles that we are having the privilege to complete on belts is, is just astronomical. So, you know, can, uh, can we get you, I'm here, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, it's totally sorry. Can we just get you to like talk a little bit more about the, the lights the, at the ballpark. I know you wanted to get your plug yeah. in there. Yeah, sure thing. <clears throat> Let me know when we're rolling. Oh, 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 it's still rolling. Still rolling. Okay. It's digital. We don't have to like roll tape any. We don't actually. Roll. Okay, just give me a three, two, one. Uh, um, well, I mean, it's still going. It's it's still. I don't need to give you a, a, a three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. Hi. You know, uh, Bruce here, and along with Chuck, who's in the tub. We, I'm just kidding. He's uh, he's running the company with me just as always. And on behalf of Belt Bucklers, we just want to shed some light on one of our favorite pastimes, the start of our business, the ballparks of America. Now, a lot of you guys 
uh, came to us and saw the original model we had. Uh, I, I, I got to just stop you. I mean, there was a phenomenon, right? There, that we're trying to get to the bottom of this phenomenon that happened at the ballpark. Yep, we could. We'll just, you know, I'll just cut to it. I'll just cut straight to it. Yeah. I'll just cut to it. Okay, we're we're okay. we're still uh, we're still filming. So there I was hovering over this baseball stadium, right? And I was in my UFO. I was like, hey, I'm a little lost, but I'm going to make it home, right? Because I had enough sensor fuel to just be like, I can do warp seven, but it might be risky, right? And so, like, I made it. I in like, just, just by the skin of, like, my little green teeth, right? Right? And like so, so this is pressing you, right? I know, right? Cool. Like, this is is great. I know. Like when Here, you, here's yeah. your two martinis. Here's the two martinis. Oh, oh thank, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Keep going. I want to hear more. I about know. It. I mean, like catch, <laughs> right? On um, um, dating app. I was like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, I have some good stories I could tell her. Maybe it could work out, you know? I got to tell you, you're so good at telling stories. Oh. <laughs> you're so, you should really consider that for your job. You could be, you could be a pro um, story person. Oh, see, this you're I good. Know. You're good. <laughs> like, you're complimenting me, right? Like, you're. You're like building me up. I th I think this is the thing here. Like yeah, it's working. You know, like, it's I, working. I, I wasn't gonna be too forward, but you know. <laughs> Judith, Judith. What I'm I'm talking to the camera. Just a second. What? All uh, right. Uh, I'll be I'll be out back. I'll I'll be out back. Um, uh, looking at those lights again. Will you talk to the camera? I'll tell you what happens. All right. So anyway, my big problem with the ballpark is it costs so much money. And then now all of a sudden everybody's there. They're looking for UFOs or whatever. And the prices have skyrocketed. It's eight dollars for a hot dog. And I can't take the kids, you know, because it just runs into too much money. So I don't know. It just seems like America's pastime has suddenly become crazy town, crazy town. I think the car is red. I, th I think I saw a red, like a car, like, you know, the 57 Chevy. I think it's a convertible. Uh, oh, you're, you're talking to the camera. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. no, wait, no, wait. Come, Carl, Carl, <laughs> tell, tell them about the ballpark and the $8 hot dogs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, the worst thing that ever happened to is this flying saucer car thing with the flying lights or... Flashing, blinking lights, it's the worst thing. You know what? They charge for mustard now. You can't yeah, even mustard. get to see the Mets for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't see them because there's too many people in there. And they're all looking to be brought up. They're all looking to be mind probed. Well, you're not going to see me there mind probed. I'll be right here looking from my house. I can see them. I can you're see not going to mind probe you, Carl. Of all the minds to probe, when they get here, yours isn't the mind they're going to probe. Oh, Judith, I got stuff up here. Stuff up here that you don't even know about. It so, um, <clears throat> so here we are. Um, I'm actually, I'm under the benches, because I've been told that's the best view um, for for the aliens when they do land. That way they'll, they'll recognize that I'm friendly. Um, but I just, it's really important. Um, John, don't give our cover away, okay? You can't tell anyone about this place. This is, this is sacred, okay? I, I only told three people, okay? John, three John, you can't tell three people. This is, this is my hideout. This is... Yeah. Cynthia, John. Are you... Hey, is, guys, hey, I made it. I'm sorry I'm late. The drive through is... For, we're looking for UFOs, man. Keep your oh, yeah, voice I down. I know, yeah, yeah. I yeah. UFOs. God, what is? Yeah, I haven't seen. Get down. I actually Get haven't down. seen Alien One. Uh, I haven't even seen Alien Two. Yeah. I I'm, like, think I haven't uh, seen Alien uh, Three. 
body like that, you just, you know? No, 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 we're not talking about films right now, okay? I, I, I brought, uh, I there's brought a guy cheese with, sticks, I made them. There's a guy with the camera. What? What's the guy with the camera? Oh, no. <sighs> he's, it, it, he's filming it. We're part of a documentary, don't you realize? Oh, I haven't this is actually epic. seen any alien documentaries. Oh, no. I haven't even showered. <sighs> Jeez. So, so besides the fact that it costs a fortune, now I feel like I got to jump on this bandwagon because all the neighbors are talking about it. And quite frankly, I personally do not believe in extraterrestrial beings. I Judith, think I think it's flying. It's flying, Judith. I think it's flying. I see flying, blinking, flying things. It's a drone, Dave. It's a drone, Carl. I'm sorry. I was thinking about that date that I had on the convertible in the 50s. Oh, never mind. Anyway, what Dave. are you saying? No. Oh. I see you have his convertibles. Yeah, and I don't like parking it where anybody else is parking. I see. No. I take up all the space when I go to the Safeway. <laughs> That's you at the Safeway. I thought I saw you before. Yeah. Somebody came by with a cart one time and I cut him. <laughs> I did see the ambulance come by, but I didn't know that was you. It's upholstery. It's made from veal cows. Veal cows, you say? Veal cows, I can't believe it. I, the reason I dare to approach you, I dare say, is that I want to learn your ways. How do you take up more than four spaces with your car? It's a little bit of a time-space continuum thing that I learned. They don't, they don't tell you until you're in the classic car club. <gasps> but it's possible to take up six spaces plus the handicap spot without a sticker. You've done six plus handicap. I thought only five was possible. I mean, there are some people who think it's an actual, you know, flying saucer. And I think I think it's marketing. It's a marketing ploy by the ballpark. I mean, honestly, um, for for people to to think that this could do you know how far it is to the closest planet out there? It's crazy. And no one can live on the planets in the solar system. It is crazy. Oh my, isn't it? <laughs> it's cr oh, it's I, crazy. I, I thought this like, was a I thought this was a confessional. What, what do you, what, why? Oh, are you, you can doing? tell me. No, you can tell me anything. I'm, a, I'm here. I'm here for you, man. We should, we're just, we're just confessing each other's, we're confessing our feelings, <laughs> like, you know, and like aliens. Like, I, I've been probed, you know, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be honest about it. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> It's, you were safe. It's a safe space. <laughs> was it the ballpark people, though? Was it their marketing team? I don't, man. I don't know about. I don't know about the marketing. I am. I you know what? I I was supposed to get a master's in business administration, and it just didn't pan out. Yeah, but you no. know what? I, oh yeah, it was. Uh... It was total marketing. It was from one of our interns, actually. Uh, let's see. Oh, come here. Ricky. Ricky, wasn't that your idea? The old uh, UFO thing. UFO <laughs> thing. That was you, Ricky. Hey, boss. Yeah, thanks for thanks for recognizing me, boss. Yeah. Yeah. That was really my thing, boss. Ricky, I mean, Ricky was on the job probably three weeks, and I didn't know Ricky from Lucy. <laughs> but, uh -huh. you know, sometimes some of the greatest ideas come from the worst brains, and Ricky yeah. happened to have one of those. 
So I have we a brain thought, box. That's right, I do. Yeah, I have a brain. <laughs> we thought we'd give it a shot, and Ricky did the whole thing. Ricky is a huge uh, extraterrestrial UFO fan, so he did all the all the legwork. And frankly, we were cool with it because it was after we were long gone after hours, and Ricky put in the extra hours. So Ricky, I mean. I don't know. I, I mean, I what did your, this, you know, this coloring book in the kid area, right? The the little babysitting area we got at work. And I was like, UFOs are cool, man. Yeah. So, I mean, your girlfriend, uh, I mean, she dumped you when she started working on these late hours, but that didn't stop yeah. you from just pushing this bizarre kind of non PR PR campaign going. Right. I just kept coming to your office every single day and be like, UFOs, UFOs. And finally, you got it. You got it, boss. Yeah. Hey, we couldn't be happier. I mean, we are, shoot, what are we, 12, 12, 13 games back out of first place right now? But the stands are full yeah. every night because of that extended um, hour yeah. session we we're, have. So We're going to have to sell the team after the season. So. <laughs> that's, I, I think that's a great ingenuity coming from a poor mind. Carol? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. strange noise? Yeah. I think it's coming from inside the house. What? What? I I I I I just had a a bean burrito. It shouldn't be a problem. U F O alien. Unidentified farting object. That's me. <laughs> it's identified now. It's it's an I F O. Sorry, the sound was me and my bean burrito. I F O. Have you been probed? Uh, you, you mean that you hear that guy too? I think there's a chip implanted in my tooth because it hurts. I think they were drilling holes in my damn teeth. Is there any chance they could just beam you up? That that's Star Trek. They don't. That's they don't. That's not a thing. That would blow every particle of my body out. I told you I had lots of things up here. Things. So anyway, I took my phone out to film this documentary about UFOs in the sky and everything, and the 57 Chevy with lights on. And, uh, you know, I just realized what happened was it was a marketing ploy, you know? Just a marketing ploy, but but you know you've watched all of this. I had I made you sit down and watch all of this just to get to the very end because you thought there was a mystery involved. But there's no mystery. It was just a, just just a cap, just a marketing ploy. Wait a minute! Just a marketing ploy. And that's our set. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Formal bonfire. Can we get all the other aliens, teammates, players, everybody else on board here? Wow. What an exciting turn of events. Thank you, formal Wild. bonfire. I was about ready to give you the two-minute warning, but you guys called for me, so yay. We know when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you kind of let us know at the top of this thing, but if any of you have any individual things you want to promote or just let us know that what you're doing, uh, please let us know. But if uh, you... Yeah, I think what we were going to say is, yeah, just West Side Improv, our home theater in, in Wheaton, Illinois, uh, reopening up this week. I think as you've probably already mentioned, so that's really exciting. You can head over to westsideimprov.com and form a bonfire. This team will be gearing up for uh, a second chapter, if you will, as Deb and myself have moved out of state, but they'll be taking the stage and always have a blast uh, when we get to perform there. Yeah. We'll We're going to be to replacing you. them with fembots, so... <laughs> Um, so every, you know, everyone come on and give formal bonfire a, a round of applause here. Yay. Now, before we go for the night, we do have one last thing we always like to do, which is our line game. Uh, now, usually, uh, David Shapiro comes up with a lot of the line games, but he is not here tonight because he is at a Sox game. Um, so in his honor, what I decided would do tonight for a line game is uh, making up excuses as to why you can't do something. Um, and it'll be based on an object. So, uh, for instance, if, if, you know, the object was a banana, you're like, oh, sorry, I, I, I can't help you this weekend. Uh, I got a split. 
So just punchline. So if you will turn off your cameras until, you, but if you then just have a, uh, we'll get an object, and then if you want to pop on with with your puns, uh, we'll do that. So can I get an object uh, to start us out? Hmm. Refrigerator. A refrigerator. So excuses of why you can't be here or do something because of a refrigerator. Uh, yeah, I would be permanent, but unfortunately, uh, at the refrigerator store, I was just a temp. <laughs> nice. Uh, Don. I would say something, but that's just too cold. Oh, Deb, I saw you pop on, but please. Well, every time I try to help you, I get a frosty reception. Hello, <laughs> Angel. Oh, uh, I was ready to start cooking here, but you know what? I'm on a diet and I can't look at these cooking items anymore. Uh, I just wondered if I could interrupt this uh, with, you know, something a little different because I need a special plug. <laughs> I saw, I think Linda popped on for a second there. Yeah, I was going to come, but when I came outside, it was freezing. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, uh, maybe a dawn. I'm gonna put you in the hot seat. Uh, can we get maybe um, uh, an activity that might be a reason you can't be there, like an event maybe, or or some sort of thing you're doing? Cheerleading practice. What was it? Sorry. Cheerleading practice. Cheerleading practice. Mm. Well, I, I would come to help. However. I just don't have the cheer in me. <laughs> well, I helping you sell Amway. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> uh, Michael, I would be at your place, but my pom pom GPS led me astray. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and by the way, if you want to say, well, if you pop up, just stay on camera, and I'll. I'll Name you as an uh, angel. Oh, Brian, I was I would be so happy to join you right now, but now I feel I have a B, an R, I, A, N, <laughs> Brian. I was going to say, like, will I help you? N, O, no, no. <laughs> uh, but David. I was, I was going to, I, I mean, I was really um, flipping over backwards to be there, but I just can't make it. Uh, Nate. Well, I am excited to go cheerleading practice because I am pom pom top. <laughs> All right, um, let's get one more object. John, I'll put you in the hot seat. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, unless you've already got off camera. Um, okay. Can we get uh, a suggestion of maybe like an object around your house? Um, a uh, modem. A modem? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a modem. Let's do a modem. John, yeah. you got one? Um, sorry, I can't come because <laughs> Michael, I was going to show up, Brian, but you never mute texted me at the time. Oh, nice. <laughs> no one else except us will get that. David. Uh, I was going to come, uh, but I'm too bored. <laughs> oh. Nate. Yeah, real quick before I come over, was the party at 2.4 or 5? <laughs> mm. Oh, Angel, take us home. Oh, Brian, I was uh, thinking about going uh, to your house, but then I thought, why should I go there if I could be connected with all the world around with wireless? <laughs> <laughs> Linda, do you have one? Sorry, I saw you pop on there. Oh, well, I was going to come with my date, but... Um... We're no longer a coupler. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> we'll end it there. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, doing this jam uh, every week, it's, it's a labor of love for a lot of us. And our volunteers make this happen. So if you're a volunteer tonight, can you pop on real, real quick and just wave and everyone cheer for our volunteers? Oh. Yes, tonight, we were a little bit short staffed because of technical problems and folks, but Thankfully, I'm glad that all of us were here so we can make this work.
But now before we go, we got one last thing to do, which is get everybody who's still here on screen so we can take our final picture of everyone before we say goodnight to Facebook. Oh, and as I mentioned earlier, next week, Portman 2 will be playing. Uh, there's the the uh, the group, the event for that should be up on the Facebook page. So please tell your friends, come back. But until then, uh, this has been the Inner City Improv, Long Form Improv Jam. I will try to take a screenshot. There we go. 